try Let your heart's burning side Move your body towards the light Hello everybody and welcome to the Terraform Homestead. For those of you who are new to our channel, we are an off-grid nonprofit in the middle of the Arizona desert that focuses on natural building. In this episode, we take materials from our natural land and make an exterior for our pump house. This insulates it, this makes it beautiful. The materials we use in this project are largely from our property. Our clay, our sand, our straw. We get reclaimed bottles, taking control of our own trash and turning it into something beautiful and make a shelf for this pump house that is going to last a very, very long time, is built sustainably and is built by hand. It's very DIY friendly. So hope you guys enjoy. If you're liking these videos, if you're not liking these videos, be sure to leave a comment, um, be sure to subscribe. Let us know what you're liking, what you're not liking. We're going through an adjustment period and we are figuring things out and we are new to this whole YouTube thing. So any feedback is greatly appreciated. Thank you guys for watching, enjoy this episode. We are cobbing and rocking our pump house. So this is a project I wanted to get done last winter, didn't happen getting it done before this winter uh, because we're getting the big crew out here for the winter to start on the big earth bag house. Um, and so I want to give people basically an indoor shower to use. So we got all these rocks, big, big, heavy rocks from uh, the wash and that kind of came in through the next storm. So you can see I've kind of got our first row laid out. Basically, this is going to act as our foundation. You don't want rain water uh, collecting on that cob when it's dripping off the roof and all that kind of stuff. So by doing a couple layers of rocks, we will have a good solid foundation to keep the cob off the ground. A lot of people do earth bag full of gravel, but I think this is kind of cooler looking. Um, I think it's gonna be easier because we don't have to sift a ton of gravel. I've got my first course laid out all the way around. Now what I'm gonna start doing is packing these joints full of cob mixture. So what cob is, is a mixture of clay, sand, and uh, straw. And so we've got over here this beautiful clay that is from Camp Air about 100 yards that way. Our sand, which also came from our wash, um, and then the straw, which I do buy the straw um, just because it's already kind of pre-chopped. This is gonna be an experiment for the big house, so I haven't done glass bottle walls yet, but kind of the loose idea on this side, which is where most people see, is that we'll do kind of rock and do a cool corner feature here, and then do some glass bottles and kind of a spirally sort of situation there. We did add in an extension to the roof to protect the cob, so before the roof just kind of came uh, right up to the edge of the building. Uh, we got last week this edge up, I got these really cool corner pieces donated from a very kind lady in Bisbee that was moving the gutters up, um, which is something that I really should have done pre-monsoon season, but such is life. Uh, right now they're into a temporary water bin here, and this is just kind of catch what we can catch. We're still getting some rain. Yeah, eventually these tanks are gonna get buried over here, and then that'll go directly into our tanks for drinking water. For now, this is great for our cob mixture. I'm gonna do an experiment, so I'm actually adding a little bit of cement or concrete um, to the mixture. Just, I'm just curious what happens. So doing one bucket of clay, two buckets of sand, and about half a bucket of uh, concrete per mixture. Work's coming along pretty well. I've got three of the sides done-ish maybe two and a half. You can kind of see how it's going to end up looking. So we've got kind of the rock at the bottom as the foundation and then going to cob, you know, maybe four to six inches thick all the way up. I think up here we're going to cut out that piece of OSB and do some cool bottle stuff. Just this is kind of an experiment. I like doing small scale projects before we do kind of the bigger stuff. So if they all go to hell and screw up, you know, not out a lot of time or money. One thing I did do here, which was a good catch, and I'm putting a few vent holes underneath here, and I was thinking, if this gets wet, it is a pump house, if water gets under there, that's a place for mold. So I'm putting three of these four inch vent pipes, I'll put some screening material over that to keep bugs and mice and stuff like that out. 
One thing that's nice about this last rain is it brought me a brand new sandbar. Load it up. You can see this looks a little bit chaotic, but there is a rhyme to this reason. I came in and started marking off kind of where the bottles are going to go. So the idea behind this is that we are going to cob in these bottles and then basically drill through each one and put a couple of little Christmas lights in there that'll be powered from the inside on a timer. So those this whole thing will kind of light up at night and look really cool. And added these plumber's tape, I don't remember what they're called, the conduit hangers or HVAC hangers. And basically what this is going to do is help secure the cob to the wall. So since this cob is only four or five inches thick, it could probably stand up on its own. But with it being a square building, only four or five inches thick, I wanted to kind of give it a little extra reinforcement. So these will just get embedded in the cob when it dries, become rock solid and just kind of help everything, you know, stick to the wall a little bit more. The other thing I did was I got the table saw or tile saw out and started cutting bottles. So I got probably about 100 bottles cut. We're going to do a mix of these green, yellow, and um, clear bottles. I want to give you an update on the Cobb pump house shower setup we got here. Uh, so you can see we're probably four or five feet up. Um, the bottles are coming along really nicely. I got a timer for the Christmas lights that are behind here so that glows really cool at night. Went into a YouTube spiral last night. I want to do this as an experiment to see if we can use this later on. Is doing an earthen floor in here. Really excited about that. It's basically cob with some cement in it. Task for today is to get this all cleaned out and get these bricks out, which I'm not looking forward to because I can 100% guarantee there's scorpions and spiders under here. So that's going to be really fun. We've got some cob going up, so we'll keep these shelves in here, but then cob the rest of it and cob all this. Eventually we'll have bottles all along here. Starting on this wall, so basically I'm going to do rock and concrete here. Give it a cool, nice little edge. I think eventually we'll concrete in this basin. This is looking pretty cool. I just like kind of rinsed it down with the shower. Pulled out a lot of this aggregate from the concrete and then I mixed in um, just to have a jar of like really cool pyrite, like granite or quartz. I really like these bigger pieces of like really cool rock with the aggregate from the concrete gravel. Um, really happy with how this is coming out. Got it almost first layer down so got that back half tamped getting this in and then it's just a matter of leveling it first layers down i got it all smoothed out Where we're at is went to dry fit this door, and now I'm stuck <laughs> because we jammed the door in, and now I can't get it out, and I'm screwed. So um, yeah, I'm just just 
keep it rolling and I'm just gonna fight with this for a little bit and see what happens. So where we're at, got the door up. This rock is in the way, unfortunately, and I don't want to cut more off the door, so I'm going to sit here and chisel for a little bit. Tried to chisel a rock, that didn't work. Um, tried a jigsaw, because I think I can just trim off just a hair of the door and it's not going to be very noticeable. Um, jigsaw didn't work. Bigger tools now. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was inspiring to you. I hope you guys learned something. Be sure to subscribe because next week we are bringing you an episode with our plaster. Uh, we hire a master plaster expert to come out and teach us how to do lime plaster with the materials from the land, a little bit of lime. It's a really great educational episode and you just gotta subscribe. It'll be coming out next Monday. So hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching. Go build something cool.